guys, Bad307 here back for another video, and today we're going to be looking at my Minecraft Gotham City map, and more specifically, we're going to be looking at my Minecraft Way Manor and Bat Cave. Now, if you want to see other sections of this map, I will have other videos as well, and I have actually looked through this before. This is kind of an updated version, so I will reference the old um, some of the old stuff. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, check the description below. Uh, just to check out the other parts and stuff as well as to link to new parts or you can just check out my channel either or But yeah, anyways Now that I'm kind of circling around my manor here. We can uh, get started so um, First thing I want to start off with is right here You can notice this is kind of an odd shape in the front and you're kind of like what the heck is that bats? Well, I'm gonna tell you so right here in the front of my manor you can see this um I don't know, kind of popped out right here. Well, this is actually where the old manor used to be, for any of you who watched the old video. So it used to be right here. That's why it's kind of in a weird shape right here. And so it used to be pop, like, popped out right here on both sides. And the manor used to be, I don't know, the door used to be like about right here by the fountain around that area. And what I actually did is I took the whole mountain and I built a whole section onto it and moved it all back. And you can see this is my handiwork because it looks the mo like the most unnatural thing I've ever seen. So, yeah, that's that's my handiwork for you guys. This is a giant thing right here and this kind of part pyramid thing going on here. I don't even know. But, yeah. So, um, you can tell it's kind of moved back from you saw the last video. And, yeah, so now I had a lot more room. I was like, man, i got to put a fountain here. And I had so many good ideas. I'm also thinking about maybe putting a limo here. I tried. It wasn't really working out for me for limo-wise. But maybe I'll try again if you guys really want to request it. And, yeah, so we got some simple redstone going on down here. Just some uh, redstone lamps just to kind of light up the fountain a bit at night. And um, also, for those of you who have seen my last video as well, there's something new here. It's not just flat brick anymore. You should just do this flat brick thing, like block almost. It was just like a big block. Now it has some texture to it, and it has this cool little pattern here. Now I'm going to tell you guys how to do the pattern for those of you who want to do it on your own manner. And, yeah. So basically what I did is I took a staircase, and I made one facing up and one facing down. So then there was a one block space in the middle, and I put stone brick blocks right here. And these are stone brick stairs, when you can't tell. And so there's one facing up, one facing down, and in the middle are stone brick, the stone brick blocks. So this kind of gives it a cool little mansion type feel. Now in the back, not as much, but in the front, definitely, I think it makes it look a lot like a mansion. Now I was also considering, let me get some stairs here real quick, doing this. Nope, not that. This. Going along, no, my god, this. And doing something like this, and... It just wasn't really working out because it had to block the door and go in with that. But, yeah, this definitely looked good. I was going to continue the pattern at the bottom there, but it just didn't work. So it's going to look kind of odd down here. There's kind of one block here while all the other windows are got stone bricks, uh, stone brick stairs underneath them. This one doesn't. But that's totally fine. Um, besides that, I think it looks really good. And, um, yeah, so that's basically the front here. Just give you another look here. And we'll pop over to the back. So on the back, um, one thing you're going to notice is this thing. You're like, Bats, what the heck is that? Well, this is the redstone for a bookcase door. Now, this took a while, and uh, I used pressure plates and stuff. We'll go through it like later on, but yeah. I'm not going to go through the redstone in detail, because I went through all my redstone. It would probably take over, gee, the video would be about an hour and a half. And I'm kind of hoping this video will be a half hour to 45 minutes. So, yeah. If you want a redstone tutorial, let me know in the comment section below and I'll upload on my channel. You can check that out there. But, um, anyways, yeah. So, that's redstone. We'll just have a brief glimpse at that later on. That was a really brief glimpse there. And we'll get have another one later on when we get to it. So, here you can see we have two graves. This is one for Thomas Wayne and one for Martha Wayne, both of Bruce Wayne's parents. Now, in two kind of story arcs, the, this was done, that I know of anyway. I know there's probably been done more, but two that pop in my head right now are Batman Year One and the Dark Knight Trilogy. Those are two where his parents are buried near his house um, instead of in like some kind of graveyard. I know there's obviously like tons that have been hit. hit yeah, his parents are buried in the graveyard, but this one, not so much. I kind of decided to go with this, and I thought it'd be pretty cool, especially since I actually don't have a graveyard, which is surprising. I don't have one in my... Gotham City over there 
there's a church over there. You can't really see it. It's kind of behind the museum there. See, there's a church. So maybe I can make some room for, you know, the graveyard. And by the time I go reviewing the new updated Gotham City, maybe I'll have a graveyard there. So who knows? But for now, there's no graveyard. There's just, you know, this thing behind this house. So pretty cool stuff. Um, that's basically it for the back as well. Now we'll pop over to the front, and we're actually going to hop on inside. Oh, wait. Wait, I forgot something. Uh, here. This is what I forgot. This is Bruce Wayne's garage. I can't believe I almost forgot this. Um, this is kind of like, see, this is me attempting to make a limo. Yep. Pretty blocky. Pretty blocky. But yeah, as you can probably tell, you were like, this is like a dark, it was really dark down here. See, when I turn off the lights, it's really light now, and you're like, what the heck is that? Well, I actually have a little weird light glitch going on from the lights, so what you just gotta do is close the door and open it. You just gotta interact with something in the environment, and the, obviously the lever is what creates the light, so interacting with, like, clicking the lever again wouldn't do anything. So you just gotta open and close the door, and it should be alright. Now in here, uh, oh god, come on, nothing fancy, just the steering wheel, I don't know why that was open. Steering wheel, um, passenger seat, and yeah, pretty cool stuff. This is just, you know, normal garage, except for that weird light glitch, and this is kind of opened up here. Now, the one thing is, is that, um, the garage used to be right where the manor is. Now, I had to move it down here, because obviously I don't have very much room back here. And it'd be very cramped, very squished if I tried to make the garage right here. So I had to move it down the mountain a bit, and I hope you guys can understand that, that it's kind of weird that's in a mountain. But I do actually have a passageway down as well. Just kind of come down here. Um, so yeah. Making the best out of a kind of tough situation here. And the road does go down to Gotham City. So it all works out good. So now we can go inside. I'm sorry we got your hopes up there. You're like, yes, we're going inside. Well, I apologize. We're not. We had to go back and look at the limo back there, block thing, whatever that was. Um, but yeah. So we're going to start off inside the mansion and look at Ace's playpen. This is Ace the Bat Dog. Pretty cool looking guy. Actually, do you know what? We're going to do this right here. Uh, let's give you a black collar. For uh, you know, like with this new update, I've kind of forgotten about the little things like dying stuff, and but I, I tried to make sure I dyed all the armors and stuff. But you'll see that later on. But yeah, so this is Ace the Bat Dog with his new collar you just saw me give him, and um, this is a little playpen. I used to have this a lot bigger, but I wanted to expand the bookcase, so he had to set up with a smaller little playpen. But that's okay. Um, he fits in there. That's what matters. So you know, Ace definitely one of my favorite characters in the Batman mint though, so it's all good, and um, yeah, moving on, over here, this is something that's not in the Batman mint though, so it is a table, and um, just kind of got this booth style going on, because we can't actually fit chairs over here, and uh, I'm also going to mention, like, most of these, most of the rooms, like bedrooms and stuff like that, are actually fit in this tiny little space that this table fits in, so you'll see what I mean, it looks very squished, but, you know, once again, making the best out of a kind of bad situation there. That I, got, that I kind of put myself in, but that is fine. So yeah, here we got a table, um, dark wood for the table half slabs, and then just some kind of like light wood for kind of seats here. So pretty cool stuff, that's the table, and on the other side we have the kitchen. Now I didn't really know where to, where to put the kitchen at first, but I was like, yeah, we can put it right here, that'd be fine. I'm sure it'd be all good. Now Monkey Man mostly created most of this, like, he came up with the little button down here, so you can't really tell that's there, even though it's dark wood and a light wood button, but that's fine. And the burners, I did the tap just because I knew that that always looked like a tap. I, I used to think when I first did it, I was like, man, I created this. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not create that method. It's been done by like a bunch of people, so yeah. Uh, but I did put that there. And Monkey Man did all the burners and most of the kitchen. That was mostly him, so thank you to Monkey Man for that, because Monkey Man did help me on this map, I'm sorry if I did not mention that before, uh, but most of the updates from, you know, last video are me, but he did a lot on this map, so I want you guys to realize that, because it was, it's originally mine and his. So, oh god, what am I doing? Um, first of all, we'll start out here, I was going to go in the, look in the bedroom first, I was like, wait, we never did out here yet, god, I'm, I'm thinking about too many things at once, but yeah, so... I wanted to have stairs going up to a third floor, and me and Monkey Man were thinking about this for a little while, and we are like, how are we going to do this? So I thought, hey, why don't we put stairs going up this way? I was like, man, they look weird just having wood there. I was like, wait, why don't we make like a TV here, 
and have it like it's an in-wall TV. You know, those are pretty cool, pretty popular mansions. We got a little couch here. All good. I'm thinking I might move the couch back a bit because there's so much spare room here. I feel like we can, you know, spare moving the couch back maybe, I don't know, a couple blocks. Uh, wouldn't really hurt it. So yeah, besides that, it looks pretty cool. Otherwise, it's really, really close. It's like if you're watching a movie. It's really close, but that is okay. And um, another thing, I think this is where it used to, yeah, somewhere around here, it was either this floor or the floor up. I used to have a balcony here. I got rid of that. It didn't work with my cool little staircase um, pattern, so I just got rid of it. Fine by me. Um, I know I was talking to some people, and they didn't really like the balcony anyway, so I just completely got rid of it and went with it. So yeah, that's why there's no balcony, for those of you who saw the last video. And yeah, so next we have Bruce Wayne's room, which I ran into really quickly without even looking at the TV. And we've got, over here, we got a karate poster. thought that fit Bruce Wayne. If I was going to have any painting in here, I think it would be a the karate one. Would make sense. And uh, nothing really on the walls here besides that. Then in here, we got, air quotes, clothes, which is just different types of armors, which can act as clothes. So, you know, if you want, like, blue jeans, you take diamond leggings, gray shirt, iron chest plate. Of course, you can dye, like, ar like um, armors now, so... Of course, I, I probably could have put every different color in there, but once again, you know, the update hasn't been out, like, super long, so I didn't really incorporate that into the clothes, but I did do it for the suits in the Batcave, which you'll see later on. Uh, in here, this is Tim Drake's bedroom, and he has a, you know, just a cool little Donkey Kong poster here, pretty cool, um, you know, what, what kid doesn't want a Donkey Kong poster? I know I like Donkey Kong, so fits well for him. Um, in here we got the suits again. Now this could be, this could be teenage, teenager Tim Drake, this could be kid Tim Drake, whatever. Teenagers like Donkey Kong too, I like Donkey Kong, so that proves you something. So, there you go. It's either or, doesn't matter. Uh, but Tim Drake is Robin for my, uh, map here, and you'll see why later. I'll explain in more detail. Um, yeah, this is the final floor of Wayne Manor, sad face, but we will be looking in the back cave after this, so I hope you guys are pretty excited for that. Uh, here, like I said, I mentioned, this is the fireplace. It goes right up. It's all legit. And, you know, cool little chair right here. I guess, you know, this is where Alfred sits, because Alfred's room is right over there. You guys didn't see the sign. And yeah, so it's kind of a peaceful little setting. I this is something I figure Alfred would do while, you know, Bruce and Tim would be watching TV. This would be kind of a thing that Alfred would do, just kind of sit by the fire, because Alfred doesn't watch a lot of TV. He's mentioned this in... I think he mentioned the animated series. I don't think he mentioned it any other times. I don't believe. But yeah, Alfred's not a big TV watcher, so I gave him something to do. Stare at a fire. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, kind of a little fireplace. Nice comfy chair. And, you know, a window, just like down below. So, over here we have Alfred's room. Now, Alfred's room has a clock because he's very punctual, of course. A nice, peaceful uh, sunrise setting. Thought it would fit in very nicely. And he has his little suits in here to be Alfred. So instead of clothes, he actually has, like, suits that he wears. And they're all the same. Pretty cool stuff. And yeah, that's Alfred's room. You know, nothing big. Like I said, these aren't big rooms, guys. They're pretty kind of small, you know. So next, we have the Wayne study. This, this is really cramped. But I have updated this, and um, I put bookcases on the sides. I used to have it so that, let me get a... Stone slab. There we go. So I used to have it like this, and I used to have like a pressure plate, and it used to come down, and used to be able to sit in. And the bookcases weren't actually here. I used to have bookcases as the desk. But I decided, hey, this is a Wayne study. You gotta have like a bunch of books. So I put some bookcases in here. Um, chair. Now, another sad thing, you could, um, before you could actually see the bat signal from here, and the kitchen, and everywhere else. But ever since I moved the manor back, you can't see it anymore. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. So yeah, you normally be able to see the bat symbol by now, like if I walked out here. Let's just move forward a bit. You'll, yep, see? Right here. This is where the, this is the round where the kitchen used to be. You used to be able to see it perfectly. But now it kind of sucks. You can't see it. But it's it's worth making my manor look better. So that's perfectly fine. So yeah, Wayne's study. Pretty cool. Um, just kind of like a chair. It's kind of cramped. But, you know, once again, make it a good thing out of a bad situation. So yeah, that is Wayne Manor for you guys. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, now, we're going to look at this suspicious looking bookcase. Uh, right here, oh god, what did I do? I just I was just walking on the floor. Well, I set off a pressure plate, 
which opened up the secret entrance of the Batcave. Now, it closes kind of quick. Sometimes when I try to walk down, there we go. See? Ba-boom. Pretty cool stuff. And I actually have a button right here. Is that when I want to press it? Yeah. Oh, crap. Hold on. Let's try it again. Boom. So it opens up for, you know, a split second. It's enough time to get you through all that cool stuff. And yeah. Now, down here, this is the Batcave. Now, first thing I want to show you guys. Turn these all off. Look at this. You're like, Bats, what is this witchcraft? Why is it dark? Well, this is me turning off the lights. Yeah, that's right. So the first switch here, we have above the computer and over by the Batcave Chemical Analysis Lab, which I will get to in just a minute. Next, the second lever turns on the suits and this middle section right here. Pretty cool. And the third lever basically just turns on everything else. Everything down here, uh, inside the uh, where the bat cycles take off to. And the only thing that isn't controlled by anything is in here. This is, has its own lever, turns on and off. As so does the prisoner holding cell. Also get to in just a minute. And the combat room, which has its own lever as well. So yeah, besides that, everything's run from the back computer, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to show you guys kind of how I did it. Uh, not really sure I'm going to get in without destroying the redstone. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So as you can see, this is like a giant redstone mess. Now, this is actually where the bookcase goes. I had it. Where is it? It's somewhere. Yeah, it basically goes up and around again, I think. I don't know. Why did I do that? I'm trying to remember why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's from the button, I think. Yeah, this is this is where the button is, I think. And it activates the bookcase. Okay, yeah. Alright, cool. So this is kind of where the button is and everything. Kind of activate that. Um, let's see, we'll go down here. As you can see, they're all connected at three main points. First lever, second lever, and the third lever. Now, this is really complicated, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can also see them right here. First lever brings you over here, I believe. Yeah. This is the chemical analysis lab, I think. I'm not sure. No, no, no. Is that down here? I don't remember. Uh, no, this is all the lights on top of the back cave. I'm pretty sure over here is the chemical analysis lab. I can't see. See? So I don't, I don't really know. I, I hooked this up, like, I don't know, a couple months ago. And, uh, yeah, this is the lever that turns on above the back computer and stuff. So you kind of get the gist. This is where the costumes are and all that stuff, and this is, you know, all the way down there. So you, you guys get the idea. Redstone everywhere. After I expand the mountain, there's just all this room, so I just, I expanded out the back cave back here, uh, and yeah. So that's why the back computer has moved, for any of you who remember my last video. The back computer actually used to be where the combat room is. It used to be right, right here, I think? Around there. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. That's the back computer for you guys. Now we'll move on to the suit. Um... First we got Batman, dark gray, um, torso and pants. Then we got Robin, red, torso and pants. Then we got Batgirl, light gray, torso and pants. There's kind of a pattern here. Uh, Nightwing, blue torso and black pants. There's a bit of a change for you. And then we got, someone asked me to do a, um, a costume in memory of Jason Todd. I thought that was a wicked idea, so thank you for that. I'm not going to... Uh, name everyone who gave me suggestions, but know that you, if you did give me a suggestion in my last video, you are thanked. So, um, in memory of Jason Todd right here, we got a red torso and green pants. I thought that fit him very well. It's a classic costume. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of went animated series style here with the costumes and, like, kind of like, I, you'll see later on the Batmobile and a lot of stuff here is kind of animated series style. Um, just because the animated series is a great series and, I like, I just, I just like that series overall, I guess. It's great. It was one of my favorite Batman series. Awesome. So, yeah. Now I'm going to explain why I picked him, Drake, as Robin. Well, obviously, Dick Grayson is Nightwing, so you're probably like, well, why didn't you pick someone like Damian Wayne, Bruce Wayne's son? He's more recent. He's more, you know, he's new. Uh, well, the reason I picked Tim Drake is just because... Uh, Tim Drake was always one of my favorite Robins. Of course, Dick Grayson is number one. That will He will always be my favorite. But Tim Drake comes in a very, very close second. He is... Um, I like his personality. Um, he's really awesome. I just... I like him. So, I decided he should be Robin. 
I know he's Red Robin in the comics currently, but I want him to be Robin, just like in the animated series, so I kept him there. So yeah, really cool stuff, and yeah, costumes. Now we'll be moving on to the Batcave Chemical Analysis Lab. Um, this is where Batman works up all his cool concoctions and stuff. You know, um, Joker gas, Scarecrow fear gas, you know, even if his tights itch, maybe some baby powder, I don't know, something. But yeah, I, you know, works up a bunch of stuff here, and um, I just put potions of healing in there for now, just to kind of, you know, heal any effects. So yeah, this is just a basic, you know, chemical place, some uh, brewing stands, um, god, what is it called? Cauldrons. Cauldrons and uh, furnaces and stuff like that, you know, pretty basic, and uh, yeah, chemical analysis lab. And here's pretty blank, I kind of want to know what to do here, and you're like, oh yeah, dig in, well I can't, because there's some redstone going on in the bat cycle, and where is it, yeah, there's some redstone going on here, so I can't dig in there, so if you have any ideas for like a painting or some kind of thing I can do here, let me know, because this wall is really bare and I don't like it. It just really bugs me, because it's like, oh yeah, look at all this stuff, They're all and this wall too, so... Um, if you have ideas for any of these walls to put there, like anything to put there, let me know. And, uh, yeah, moving on. Next, we got our suits, gadgets, and tools. And, like, Bats, we just looked at the suits. What are you talking about? Well, these are actually where Batman stores his suits. Of course, those are in the, um, glass cases. But, of course, you know, he has it somewhere to, you know, hold spares or anything like that. So, this is kind of like, um, the trilogy, which was Batman, Batman Returns. Um, Batman and Robin, Batman Forever, that trilogy. I know Batman Forever came before Batman and Robin, but, you know, I was just listing them off. So, yeah, uh, I kind of went with this little room area here, even though that, you know, Batman and Robin was just a disgrace to the franchise. I went with this room here because I thought it'd be cool to have all the stuff in one room, just like they did in that, um, in those movies. So, yeah, here we got Batman suits, Robin suits, uh, pretty basic from what I told you, except there's now black masks and black boots. Pretty cool. Now over here, we have, um, you know, Diamond Helmet as a blue mask and blue boots, because it's more of a Batgirl thing. She has, like, more of a blue mask than Batman does. And Nightwing, of course, black mask, black boots. So, yeah. It's just extra costumes here. You get to see the masks and the boots. So, yeah. Uh, now with the tools, we should start... We'll start with the bow and arrows. So, I actually gotta change the name on these. Uh, but this is where I renamed the bow and arrows ever since we got the anvils. I renamed them Batarangs. Now, I didn't change the signs here, but this is basically known as a Batarang just because you can shoot off, you know, like a Batarang. You can kind of, it's kind of throwing. It's the closest thing I got to a Batarang, I guess. I probably shouldn't name the arrows Batarangs. I don't know what this would be, like a Batarang launcher. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, alright, I'll do that next time. Uh, but yeah. So, we'll pretend these are Batarang launchers and these are Batarangs, but you get the you know, the little idea here. It's the closest thing I'll get to a Batarang in this, um, you know, on this map. Either that or some kind of potion, I guess, but I don't know. That'd be more of a smoke bomb to me. Just a thought. So, yeah. Batarang and Batarang launchers for bow and arrows. Over here we have the sword chest. Now, if any of you guys remember Batman the Brave and the Bold, he used to have this sword that comes out of his belt. So, I used a diamond sword and called the Bat Belt Sword. Just to kind of reference there. And I wanted him to be able to use a sword and for it to make sense. So that's what I thought of. Yeah. Uh, transportation chest. Uh, this is a. Well, this is just a bat cycle. Air quotes. It's not actually a bat cycle. It's just a minecart. But we'll see this in just a minute. And um, when I go to the bat cycle tracks. And this is a bat suit transport, which is basically just a minecart with a chest in it. That way, Alfred can put the suit in and it will, you know, deliver to Batman. Not literally, of course, because the bats, um, cycles, you know, the, the tracks actually go to the GCPD. They don't, you know, go anywhere else. They don't go all around Gotham, because that would be really hard to do. But yeah, they go to the GCPD, so, yeah, it doesn't actually transport it, but you get the idea. It's kind of used as transport, just to, you know, yeah. So it's not actually used as transport, it's just kind of there. Just be cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, other tools and suits. In here, we got grappling hooks, which are just uh, inner pearls. Makes sense. We got fire charges. You know, if Batman needs to light anything on fire. I actually didn't put the potion smoke bomb thing. I just thought of that just now, which is kind of sad, because I wish I did that. But yeah, I'll put it in next time. 
and um, pretty cool stuff. This is why I like making these videos too. It all it makes me think of ideas as I'm talking, which sucks because you know I think of an idea, but uh, well, it's good that I think of an idea, but it sucks that I I haven't used it yet and I didn't get to put it in before the video, but that's fine. So yeah, we also in here we got a classic Batman suit, which looks like Batgirl's suit. And a classic Nightwing suit, which we used to have like a used to have a yellow kind of birdish type thing on his um, costume, and he used to have a blue costume. So he'd like a yellow symbol and a blue costume and a black mask. So I put in a classic Nightwing costume here and a classic Batman one. I could have put in a classic Robin one either. Either or would have worked. But I remember looking at this golden chest plate next to some diamond pants one time, and it just reminded me so much of Nightwing. I just had to do it. So that's why I just kind of chose it there, kind of inspiration. And yeah, so this is the suits and everything. Uh, now we're going to we're going to do everything on this level first, into the bat cycles. So these are just tracks. Now these before they used to just pop out of the bottom of the hill, like right here. As you can see, it keeps going further. This goes all the way up. These are more secret entrances now, and I think it's kind of cool. Let's pop down here. We come out right here, right over by my limo block thing. And uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. This is one of the trails. And I'll bring you guys to the other one over here. Yeah, it's down here. Past a suspicious looking forest. And we come over here. Fly over. Now this, there's a room coming up. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I didn't fill it in, but... It's perfectly fine. I thought it looked kind of cool open. So I just kind of left it there. And yeah, so you pop back up. And now you're in Robin's little shoot. So there's a Batman one, there's a Robin one. They both go different ways, but they both lead to GCPD. Pretty cool stuff. Little trails there. So yeah, Bat Cycles. Uh, while we're over here, we can do the um, Prisoner Holding Cell. I'm trying to remember my exact name for it. So um, yeah, this is where the prisoners are being held if Batman needs to bring them back to the Batcave to interrogate them, blah, blah, blah. But, or if, maybe if they're... Uh, I know there's been some cases where like a guard or something gets hit by Joker gas. And when Batman first met Joker, he needed to know how to figure out, like, how to cure him. So that he kept him in the Batcave for safekeeping until he knew how to cure him. Instead of letting doctors attempt and possibly, you know, make it worse. So, yeah. This is kind of where he just kind of keeps people. And lights turn on and off, like I showed before. Beds, all iron, iron bars, iron blocks, iron doors, everything. Everything's iron. I put buttons in here because I was, like, I was putting stuff in there. Every time I had something new, I'd open it up, and I had to destroy the door to get out, so that was kind of annoying. So I just kind of put a button in there, but, you know, that's not actually supposed to be in there, because they're not supposed to be able to get out, but, yeah, you, get, you guys get the idea. Uh, next, or the last thing on our floor, I believe, is the combat room. This is kind of cool. Uh, this has got dispensers right here. The uh, Like, the first model used to be up against the wall, and um, you can't act... Oh, crap. You can't actually go back any further, because I think the road's right here that leads up to Wayne Manor. So you can't actually go back there, but, is that redstone? No, that's fine. Alright, we'll cover that up too while we're over here. But yeah, so uh, it used to be back here, then I decided to make it kind of pop out of it, which makes the room a bit smaller, but that is perfectly fine, because I think it looks pretty good. And in order to activate it, Batman will be out here with his little button. I know it's impossible to see. And he just shoots him off. Really cool stuff, there's nothing in him. And, of course, the light switch is over here. And it's kind of a combat room where everyone trains. And it's kind of small, but really cool at the same time. So, yeah, combat room. Uh, next, we're going to go We're gonna go to the Batmobile, Batboat, and Batbot. Now, the Batbot is actually first. And they're all connected, which is kind of weird, but it's all good. So, here you can see that there's, like, redstone lamps up here. But then down here is glowstone. You're like, Bats, what were you doing? Well, what I was doing was... Is that I was trying to make these redstone lamps, but sadly, beneath here is uh, part. This part over here, I believe, is where part of the bat. Um, God, the Batmobile is like the, the top of it. So I couldn't put a redstone beneath it to actually make them all turn on uh, down here. So I kept the glowstone here, kind of like permanently on, and uh, the rest of the lights turn on by this switch, and it turns on over the targets and stuff. So when you know, Batman's not using it, the targets are off. And when he turns it on, he can name it the targets and, you know, practice and stuff. So in here, the Batbot is actually really cool. Uh, what I did is I used levers to make him punch. Yes, I used pistons and redstone. Simple redstone just to make him punch. Now this is actually uh, after 
This is like model after Proto in the Batman, the Brave and the Bold series. So he punches. Really cool. Except he's kind of like a Proto you can get into. Pretty cool. And um, also, if an enemy gets too close, a push away. So if Bane comes up and like tries to like hug, squeeze the Batbot, like break open, you can use this and push him off it. So this is kind of cool. Uh, I thought it was a pretty cool little feature. And this is kind of like a sensor suit, so when Batman puts it on, whatever he does, the robot does. So it's kind of like a little sensor suit, just an iron um, armor. And it's all um, enchanted, and it just kind of looks shiny and stuff. looks kind of like a, a suit that would, you know, move the, um, like, kind of control the Batbot when you move. And I thought it looked really cool. So yeah, it's the Batbot. Next up here, we got the Batmobile, and this is one of my favorite places to be because I'm going to show you guys why. See this? See this? I went full out redstone. This is really cool. Turn this off. All right. So this is all off right now. You can only see light from right here. So when someone's looking out there and Batman's not using the Batmobile, you know, you can't really see in except for that, like, small light over there. You can't really see anything. Now, this is my favorite part. Now, watch this. Click it on. Watch it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, man. I, lo I love watching the lights turn. It's like, do, 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 do. And it's like, oh, man, it's all in sequence and everything. It's so cool. This is what I like about this room right here. It just, it reminds me of the animated series. I got the Batmobile model off it. And then I got this, um, the lights turning on, like, in the, um, in one of the opening themes, I think. The lights are, like, turning on as he's driving or something in the tunnel. I think that's what happens. But I know it, it's happened numerous times with the Batmobile that's, like, uh, switch and it turns all the lights on. Oh, it's so cool. So I had to have it in my little um, I don't know, I guess you call it the driveway. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, you come out here and this is like a little blockade here. And what you do, you flick the lever and it comes down. And it says Gotham City, two miles. This is this is not <laughs> realistic because it's right there. But you know, in the Adam West TV show, it had Gotham City six miles? Six miles, I think. So yeah, two seemed at least a bit real, more li realistic than six miles, even though it's like right there. So yeah, this is the Batmobile. I'm gonna go inside real quick, show you guys around. Uh, we got like a lever right here, and it's originally supposed to turn on these lights, but it does not work, sadly, because it would like, you know, I tried putting it underneath, did not work. Part of the car was gone, didn't look good, and I had to destroy the windshield right here in order to fit this in. So yeah, just wasn't working. Over here. We have an old-fashioned Batmobile from the 1940s. So, no, I'm not just getting everything from recent. This is a little bit of a blast to the past for you guys. And it has some seats right here. Do you want? I'm going to put some levers in. I forgot. Let's throw those, yeah, throw those in there. Beautiful. And, yeah, this is where... Um, this is an old-fashioned Batmobile for you guys. So, from the 1940s. Now, it does not have the bat face on it, the... You know, signature bat face, but it looks so bad when I did it, and I did not like it. I was like, I'm not, I'm not keeping this. But I kept the whole other design because it looks old-fashioned and kind of blocky compared to my newer, slimmer animated series version that I made. And yeah, very cool. I, I believe when I first made this, I didn't even, I don't think I intended it to fully look like the animated series Batmobile, but it just kind of turned out that way. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's also a back mate, like a little window here. You guys didn't notice? <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool that I put that in there just so we can back up and stuff. So yeah, that's the Batmobile for you guys. Uh, we're gonna pop down here to the Bat Boat. Really cool. Uh, we'll pop on in here. Now this used to look like the Adam West one with the blue, red, and white. Now I changed it to the black because it looked better, and yeah. I still haven't fixed our main problem that I mentioned last video. When you come to this really, really long passage here to the water, it's underwater. So when you emerge, it's like Batman gets soaking wet, his tights are soaked, can't do anything. Like He's just like making that weird squishy sound when he walks. It's terrible, terrible. But, you know, yeah. I got rid of all the ice here. It finally stopped, you know, refreezing. Pretty cool stuff. And yeah, so there's like a place for the bat boat to come up, but there's nothing still to cover them up from the water that, you know, splashes them. So I did make it just all black. I kept the same design, but putting something like um, a roof on top of it and putting all glass along it made it look too blocky to me. So I kept this kind of cool little design here of the bat boat. But I mean, that's it, I guess. 
things have to be sacrificed, like Batman's dryness. Yeah, kind of sucks. <clears throat> but, I mean, yeah, I've never experienced wet tights. I'm sure they suck, and I really don't want to see someone in wet tights. That's really awkward. But, yeah, I'm sure it's pretty bad, but sorry, Batman. That's all I could do. So, yeah, we're going to pop all the way back up here again um, and look at a couple more things. We only got two things left. So, we got the Batwing, which we're going to take down here. There's actually a chest next to it that said use for transportation because you actually got to use a mine card to get all the way over here. Because it, it takes a bit. It takes a bit of a walk. And you come over here. There you go. So this is the Batcave. And this is a big hangar. And you can see this is the Batwing. Really cool. Uh, you can act like you're sitting inside by looking up like this. Pretty cool stuff. Two seats. It's just like upright. Uh, just so it can launch that way. And yeah. Nothing really to it. Just kind of like a blue kind of thing here. I guess that's kind of like a screen I guess. Um, right here it's boxy. You know, I, I didn't change it from last video, put it that way. I think I, I uh, from what I remember, I, I made this as a screen, because I haven't, I haven't touched the Batwing in so long. But, what I did do, uh, we'll get one last look at the Batwing and I'll move on. So you can see wings there, kind of making this cool little shape. What I did do, come down here. So it, it, what? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's right, oh, it's right here, okay. I made the Batcopter. Someone asked me to do it, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this stuff. So, yeah, it looks, I don't know, batcopter y, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of tiny, and the, I don't know, the blades look really weird, but it, it's kind of tiny, but it's kind of cool. Control it. I like the inside, it's kind of cool. And it's very tiny, but I didn't have a lot of room. And, um, because the mountain kind of goes in that I'm on, and you'll see what mountain I'm in right now. Let's pop up here. This actually looks like fake grass. I thought that was kind of cool that it, um, the way I did that, I just put. A dark green wool here to make it look like fake grass. I was like, man, it looks kind of like grass. Let's do it. Just as a joke. So this is where the back copter is, right around here. Like right in that area right there. So as you can see, it kind of squeezes in a bit. So we didn't really have enough room to, uh, you know, make it the full length of the hangar in here. Otherwise, it would have been a lot bigger. So yeah, that's the bat wing right there. One last look. Pretty cool stuff. And we'll drop down here one more time. That's the back copter. Blades looking kind of weird. And yeah, so we'll pop back up. And we'll come on in back to the back cave. So yeah, this is about getting around. It's about 40 minutes here now. It's only going to take me a couple minutes to do the last thing we got to do, guys. This won't be much longer, I promise. I know you guys just want to see all the cool toys and stuff, all the bells and whistles, so we'll, uh, we'll get this on the go. Now this is my trophy room. Um, I'm not going to have time to explain everything, because I know last video I didn't, it took like 15 minutes to explain all of this, and I actually added on to this since last video, so yeah. Um, basically, uh, we've got a laughing fish for, fish for Joker, we've got a hammer for Harley Quinn, it's kind of like an axe, we've got a bird egg for Penguin, a hatchet for Solomon Grundy, I'm going to explain this, this is just from Injustice, he has a hatchet on his back, so, makes sense, um, in that character, he had a hatchet on his back, so, you know, got kind of creative and put it there, Razzle Ghoul's Lazarus Pit Serum, this was just Batman took some of the Lazarus Pit and put it in a bottle, boom, Lazarus Pit Serum, Scarface's Dummy Head, pretty self-explanatory, he's a dummy, his head, yeah, Man Bat Serum, uses, uh, Kirk Landstrom uses it to turn into Man Bat, so it's kind of like a, it's, I, I remember it being reddish, so, man bats here. I have a real sword, it's like a flaming sword, and I'm pretty sure it's golden, so I just made a golden sword here. I can't remember, it's, I think it's golden, yeah, I think it is, sure, why not. So, um, yeah, I put a golden sword here, and, um, yeah, as a real sword, catch it on fire and stuff, pretty cool. Uh, Catwoman's Cat's Eye Emerald, something Catwoman with Steel was a cat-themed thing. You know, so, Cat's Eye Emerald. Eye Vendor looks kind of like a cat's eye. Uh, Poison Ivy's Vines, that's self-explanatory. Scarecrow's Pumpkin Bomb. Scarecrow sometimes uses pumpkins to store fear gas, and he throws them, and they explode. I know that I've seen that a couple times. Uh, no, I'm not thinking of Green Goblin. If that's what you're wondering, you're like, does a Green Goblin do that? No, he just throws pumpkins that explode. Scarecrow throws ones that have fear gas in his signature fear gas. So, yeah. Hugo Strange's Batman Mask. I gotta explain this one, because this is weird... Hugo Strange likes to dress up as Batman sometimes to try to 
understand him. I don't, I don't know. Weird, weird people, guys. Weird people. But, yeah. Hugo Strange is like, yeah, I'm gonna dress up as Batman, because I want to know what, why he does what he does. And I'm obsessed with him, and I'm crazy. So, he dressed up like Batman. So, I took that little element, because I found that really weird about him, and that kind of popped in my head. I was like, hey, what if I put a, a Batman mask that Hugo Strange wore in the trophy room? So, that's what I did. So, Hugo Strange's Batman mask. Mr. Freeze's diamond. Um, some version of Mr. Freeze either likes diamonds or powers his suit. So, it makes sense. Crazy Quilt's painting. He's not a known villain, but he does like to do, um... He uses art to kind of do crime. So, paintings, stuff like that. Like, his traps involve that as well. Paintings, uh, art, any type of artwork, basically. So, Crazy Quilt's painting. Uh, Clock King's clock. Clock King's obsessed with time, clocks, all that kind of stuff. So, clocks were right up his alley, I guess. Uh, Clayface is clay. I didn't use clay for this because it looked gray, and I thought Clayface, well, he's brown. So... Why don't I just put a brick there that is actually brown and made of clay? Because bricks are made of clay. And, you know, so it doesn't look really natural, like a clay shape. It looks like a brick, obviously. But it does have clay faces color, so that's what I really wanted to go for, mostly. So I kind of went more with that. Uh, next, we got Killer Croc's tooth. Uh, Killer Croc's part. Uh, he has, like, some kind of... I think someone told me he had this disorder. I thought he was just part, uh, you know, crocodile. But someone told me he had a disorder or something that made him look scaly and big, and I, I I was really interested in that, so thank you for the person who commented down below and told me that. So yeah, that's one of his teeth. It obviously grows back, but um, yeah, it's one of his tooth. It's just a gas tear. I thought it looked pretty creative. Uh, Deadshot's bullet. Uh, Deadshot, expert marksman, uses all types of guns. He's really good at firing. He's almost never missed, except when it comes to Batman, of course. And um, yeah, it's one of his bullets. Two-Face's coin. Now, this one's a bit unrealistic, of course, because Two-Face always keeps his coin at hand, but this does represent Two-Face the best, his signature coin. So I took some, um, I think this is dark gray dye, and I put it in there. It looks kind of like a coin. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, Two-Face's coin. Firefly's fire charge. Makes sense. Firefly likes a lot of fire. Um, and yeah, so Firefly's fire charge. Black Mask's mask, also very self-explanatory. Black Mask is known for a signature black mask. He's a mob boss. And, uh, yeah, this is his black mask, even though it's fused onto his face from fighting Batman. But, yeah, you know, once again, Two-Face and Black Mask are kind of unrealistic, but they make sense. They represent the character very well. Um, or characters, I should say. Uh, Hush's bandages. Hush has, like, bandages around his face, and when he finally reveals himself, he is, uh, Dr. Thomas Elliot, but he has different pieces of uh, people's faces, like skin, to make Bruce Wayne, because he hates Bruce Wayne. And uh, he also hates, comes to hate Batman as well. But these are bandages he wore over his face. So yeah, hushes, hushes bandages. Um, Mad Hatter's control chip. Mad Hatter uses like these things that look like cars from the actual Mad Hatter himself uh, in Alice in Wonderland. He has like a little card in his hat. Well, Mad Hatter uses the same thing. I know in the animated series he does. So that, that looks kind of like the chips he uses makes sense. So it's just a piece of paper. And then... Um, yeah, he uses that to control people, and that's, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Gorilla Grodd's Mind Control Helmet. I know he's a Flash villain, but I wanted to put him in here because it made sense. And um, we have a golden helmet here to represent his helmet that he uses for mind control, I believe, for the most part. Um, his helmet is almost always gold, and it either increases his uh, powers of mind control, or it just, um, you know, it gives him mind control. There's different versions of him. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Max is using lightning bolt. Let's pretend this, um, this is a lightning bolt, because it's obviously not. It's a blaze rod, but it looks a lot like lightning bolt, except for the part, uh, part, god, I screwed that up so bad. Except for the part that it's not a lightning bolt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, oh my god. Okay, so take two. I completely lost my concentration after that one mess up. I was just, I was going so hard at that. I was listing them all off, and then suddenly that one mistake just ruined me. But I think we're back now. So yeah, this looks mostly like a lightning bolt to me because of the color. Not shaped like it, but that is perfectly okay. It fits the part, and we are all good. So, Max is using lightning bolt. Um, Bane Venom, you know, makes sense. This is the stuff that turns Bane into this big, hulking, strong guy that he is. And uh, he uses his green liquid venom to do it, which is pumped through his veins and stuff. So, you know, it makes sense that it's a green potion. So, yeah, venom. 
Uh, last but certainly not the least, we have the Riddler Trap, which is just a piston, and it kind of reminded me of something Riddler would use, a kind of like a box that had like a riddle to open it, and it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? It looks like something complicated um, that you'd have take, you know, take the time to open, maybe some kind of mystery on how to open it. This kind of, to me, seemed like something that, like a Riddler Trap that Riddler would use. So yeah, Riddler Trap. Uh, I didn't really explain the laughing fish. This is basically Joker poison Gotham's fish supply with um, a new kind of breed of laughing gas, almost, and it made all the fish smile. So that's kind of why it's laughing fish. If you guys did not know, and that's pretty much everything. So yeah, guys. Even though we had a bit of a bumpy road there at the end, it is you know it's all good. Um, I definitely had fun making this, and I hope you guys had fun watching and all that stuff. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm actually doing right now, this is a part of a thing I'm doing for a thing I like to call Bat Month, which is basically a whole month dedicated to the Dark Knight for 75 years of just plain awesomeness um, for the year 2014 of May. And I'm just doing a bunch of videos Batman style, you know, so if you like Batman and um, you haven't checked out my channel, you should because I'm doing like a bunch of Batman videos in this whole month, so it's a perfect time for you Batman fans to kind of check out what I'm doing and stuff. And of course, I obviously like Batman because you can tell by my name. Bats. Makes sense. So yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the, um, you know, the content in the video or even the commentary if you enjoyed that too. Go right ahead. Hit that like and subscribe button. That would really, I'd really appreciate that. Show me some support. Um, as well, next video, I'll give you a little sneak peek. It is Arkham Asylum. Uh, and I'll also be doing the rest of the parts of Gotham you can see here. So we're going to fly over real quick. And boom, that is Arkham. That's what you're going to see inside it and a more detailed version of it next video. So be sure to check that out. I'll have all the different videos and stuff in the description below. And um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Alright, guys, I'm Badger7, and I'll see you guys later for future videos. Peace out.